Hello guys, in today's video we'll be looking at the first lab program of the Computer Networks Library uh, which is the simulation using the NS2. So the question goes like this, implement three nodes point to point in a point to point network with the duplex links between them and you have to set the queue size, bandwidth and you have to find the number of packets that are dropped. So we'll look at the topology before going through any program, just write down the topology so it becomes easier to write the program. So we have, um, they've asked us to implement three nodes. So we'll be taking N0, N1 and N2 and N3 is the destination. So whatever N3 is the destination node, whatever the traffic goes from N0 to N2, Again, N1 to N2, from N2, finally it goes to the destination, that is the N3. So, this is the topology and these uh, double-sided arrow mark represents the duplex links between the different nodes. And you have to write the bandwidth as well as the speed here, that is mentioned here. That is 200 MB and 10 MS uh, between N0 to N2 and between N1 to N2 you have 100 MB and 5 MS and uh, between N2 and N3 you have 1 MB as the bandwidth and 1000 MS as the speed. So that should be mentioned in the topology. So that was about the topology. Coming to the program, firstly in the part A programs you have to make sure you create a simulator object that is using the set. So set you have to leave a space and NS is the simulator object, space again, then you open the new simulator. Make sure that the S in the simulator is capital, otherwise the code won't work. And set receives two arguments. As you can see here, one argument is the object that is NS, the other argument is the new simulator one. So make sure you give sufficient uh, spaces between the two objects so that the set command works properly. So after creating the simulator object, um, this all these simulations will have three files namely the nam file that is the animation file which gives you the output in the nam window and you have the trace file that is with the extension .tr and that will be used uh, to analyze the output and uh, you have uh, the x graph files that is in order to get the graph as the output and you also have AWK scripting files in order to analyze whatever is in there in the trace file because trace file um, is a little complicated when you view it. So that is why you, we use the AWK file to work with the trace file. The AWK file is uh, used in order to get the output from the trace file. So that will be looking at the in the later stage. So next up we have the NAM file. So set NF and you open the NAM file. So here it is lab1.nam and in write mode then use the simulator object whenever after writing the simulator object ns here wherever you reference it it should be with dollar this dollar is referencing operator so dollar ns nam trace all all the nam trace files uh, with the dollar nf that is the dollar you will be attaching the nam file to the simulator object then again with this uh, trace file set tf you open the trace file lab1.tr in write mode and you attach the tra uh, this should be tf and you attach the trace file to the simulator object again notice here it is trace all here it is nam trace all after which uh, all the simulation uh, file all like all the in part a programs you have a compulsory function that is procedure that is finish that is in order to stop the simulation so pro uh, proc finish and you open the braces and you close the braces and you open the fun uh, procedure make sure this opening of the procedure is in the same line of the uh, declaration of the procedure otherwise the code won't work and you declare the uh, variables ns simulator object nf nam file tf is trace file all it in global and uh, this procedure finish is used to close all the trace file, NAM file and the simulator object. The simulator object is flush trace that is you are deleting it. Then you close the $TF that is the trace file. Then you close the NAM file that is $NF. Then you execute the NAM file. So execute NAM, the NAM file name. Then you have AND operator. Then you have uh, exit 
zero. So that was about the procedure finish. Uh, now coming to the topology here, you have n not, n one, n two, and n three. So you need to set up the nodes. So set n not, uh, and you have to write dollar n s node. So this is for uh, creating the nodes. Then set n one, same one. Uh, set n two, set n three. It goes on like that. Then after creating the nodes, you have to create the link between the nodes. As we have seen in the topology, the link is between n not to n two. So here dollar n s, you create a duplex link. As I mentioned earlier, it is a duplex link between uh, n not and n two. So we will use the dereferencing operator. Then the bandwidth is mentioned then the speed is mentioned then the type of the queue that is drop tail so in drop tail queue what happens is um, the buffer uh, gets when the buffer gets full the packets start dropping from the tail that is why it is uh, the dropping occurs at the tail that is why it is called as drop tail so the same uh, like uh, duplex link again from n1 to n2 uh, with this uh, bandwidth this thing and with speed 5ms and same queue and again from n2 to n3 you have a duplex link with bandwidth 1 MB and 1000 MS speed, and you have the queue as drop tail again. After mentioning the links between the nodes, you have to create um, the uh, queue limit for each of these links. So dollar NS will be again used, and you have queue limit that will be setting between the nodes N0 to N2 that is 10, and N1 to N2 that is also 10. So after setting up the nodes and the links between them and the queue limit, you have to uh, use the Protocols. So we have two uh, different uh, transfer uh, transport layer protocols, that is TCP and UDP. Uh, in this program, we'll be using UDP. If you're using UDP uh, for traffic generation, you'll be using CBR packets. If you're using uh, uh, TCP protocol, you'll be using FTP as the traffic generation. So here, uh, for uh, setting up the traffic, uh, you have set UDP zero. This is nothing but name. You can give anything you want since we are referring for n not um, so we were, we have kept it as UDP zero. Then this is the um, syntax for it that is new agent UDP. Make sure it is all the case it is case sensitive. Make sure everything is written as it is here. Then you have dollar n s. You attach the agent that is you attach the UDP zero whatever you have created to the particular node that is n not. After that, you set up the CBR0, that is the traffic. So here, this is the syntax, that is new application traffic CBR. Then you set, uh, by using this uh, CBR0, we set the packet size. It can be set to anything and you set the interval. After that, uh, this particular uh, CBR0 is attached to the traffic uh, protocol, that is UDP0. So this was for the node N0. Now coming to the node N1, the same thing goes, you set up a UDP1 um, protocol that is a new agent UDP again, the same format and you attach the um, N1 node to UDP1 and you create uh, CBR0 again, the same thing, whatever you have done there and you attach the CBR1 to UDP1. Uh, then again for N2, you create UDP2, then attach N2 to UDP2 and um, you set the CBR2 traffic then you attach the CBR2 to UDP2. So we have done it for N0, N1, and N2. Now what happens in N3 since it is a destination node, we set up a null agent. So here it is set null, zero, this is the name given. And you have new agent null, this is syntax. And you attach by using the simulator object, you attach the N3 node to the null zero. So, and you also have to connect whatever UDP0 and UDP1 protocols you have used for n0 and n1 to the destination node that is null zero so you'll be using ns connect to connect both these after that you have to start simulation for starting the simulation dollar ns at you specify the time 0 0.1 and within quotes you write dollar cbr0 start that is for n0 and dollar ns at 0 0.2 you'll start dollar cbr1 uh, that is for n1 so the simulation starts and uh, you can specify the finish state that is dollar ns at 1.0 finish at 1.0 the finish procedure will be called which will make the simulation to stop and this is very important that is dollar ns run otherwise your simulation won't run so that was about uh, the tcl file so for creating the tcl file you just have to uh, give it as uh, vi 
file name dot tcl and the blank file will open and you type in the code afterwards you save it by using escape um, colon and wq after which uh, you can run it by using ns file name dot tcl then if errors are there you debug it and the nam window will open for uh, getting the number of packets that have been dropped you use the awk file since you have to use the trace file here so awk file firstly you will use the begin where you open uh, close where you mention a variable drop to zero then uh, you open uh, the braces uh, and you inside that you will have if statement where dollar one equals to equals to d this dollar one is the uh, in the trace file uh, the first field is the event field which is either send receive or drop so here we are seeing the drop packet so dollar one equals to equals to d and inside that we have mentioned uh, where uh, earlier we have mentioned a variable drop equals to zero here we'll be incrementing the drop if some packet has been dropped and you also print dollar five and dollar eleven dollar five will be the type of packet here it is cbr packet and dollar one is the sequence number so that will also be printed and when you close the braces and you open end where you will specify the number of packets dropped are percentage d where uh, the that is that thing is stored in the variable drop and will be printed so that was about the first program if any doubts you can mention it in the comment box and the notes for this particular program will be uploaded in the description box thank you guys